Hello and welcome to Joburg Today. My name is Dumi Tlapo, bringing you the best of what's going down in and around Johannesburg. The Johannesburg Road Agency announced and started a multi-million rand upgrade project of the M1 highway last year. Joburg Today attended the announcement. Repairing bridges on the M1 will be the focus of the latest phase of the M1 rehabilitation project and will start at the end of February. It's expected to affect traffic severely. There will definitely be road disruptions on the sections between Kilani and the double-decker section of the M1. So we are really encouraging road users to consider alternative routes that can be considered for their trips. Built in the 1960s, the signs of wear and tear on the Oxford Federation and M1 double-decker bridges are clearly visible as engineers involved in the project pointed out to the media. These bridges were built over 40 years ago and uh, through time and even with maintenance have uh, had some structural defects which need to be addressed. Uh, mainly, main issue is the aspect of water going into the fuel material, that's the material underneath the road and it has uh, compromised these layers. So we're getting in, uh, repairing the concrete works that have cracked and also getting in to improve the stormwater system of the road. Johannesburg Metro Police will also play an important role. The yeah, Metro Police will be deployed at the roads which traffic is going to be diverted on to assist traffic through particularly in the morning peak and in the afternoon peak. However, we want to call on the public to cooperate uh, during this time because already the Mike 1 is very heavy in the morning peaks and in the evening peaks. So we want to get the public to cooperate by uh, either staggering their traveling time so that they travel either earlier or later in the mornings or earlier and later in the evenings. And then we also want to encourage public transport. Information will be provided on the JRA website on the services that are available to areas that will be impacted and the road users are welcome to check and see which uh, public transport services would be able to address their needs. There are no special arrangements in terms of prices, rides for, for this period. The Johannesburg Road Agency undertook to also constantly keep the public informed about the traffic situation through its website and the media. The roadworks are expected to be completed by May 2017. Marisa de Klerk, Joburg Today. Be sure to check out the latest updates of the M1 later today on our City News segment. Like us on Facebook, JoburgToday.tv, and follow us on Twitter at Joburg Today. And if you're one of those that are constantly on the move, do catch us on PocketTV.mobi, and that's Pocket with an I. With over-the-top services becoming more commonplace due to consumer demand, we decided to see what makes a South African-designed app unique in this space. Can it meet competition from the likes of WhatsApp? Well, here's Nishina having a candid discussion with Charles Murray, director at Trumpet. Charles, great to have you on the show. Thank you for having me, Nishina. It's a pleasure. You're operating in a very competitive but very exciting space. The market is saturated with OTT services. What makes Trumpets offer unique? Well, the OTC, current OTT services are very high above the man on the street. What we're trying to do is we're trying to marry the consumer with all the businesses and all the events that are happening around them. So we want the a consumer here in South Africa to say, what is happening around me? And everything, all the local businesses, all the local events, he can see and he can communicate with them. So how does that work? If I'm a subscriber, I reside in Johannesburg, do I have immediate access to that information as a subscriber? Yes, yeah, so right now you can say what, what is around me and everything will come up from restaurants, doctors, dentists, the, they, they, you can go dr drill in, you can go to the website, you can contact them, you can phone them and you see all the information that's around you. The businesses in turn mm -hmm. are allowed to put up offers. What are they doing today? What are they doing tomorrow? So you can sit at home and say, Instead of walking through the high street, you can sit at home, say, what's happening around me? Ah, that restaurant's offering goulash and uh, chips today. It's a cold day. That interests me. I'm going to go there. 
Sounds fantastic. But like I said, it is very competitive and challenging right now, given Vodacom's and MTN's position when it comes to how OTT services like WhatsApp and like what you're offering right now is affecting their revenue base. Are you feeling challenged? Um, I think we, we're not currently feeling challenged. We are a South African company and a local company, and we have all the uh, licenses, etc., that we need to operate. Um, I think the government um, does need to find some uh, ground, and to do that, it needs to talk to all the players involved. And it may be an opportunity for a local service provider like yourself to start meeting with the who's who at Vodacom and MTN and try to get on board there to turn that into a favorable business partnership. Exactly. We as are, long as it's win-win for consumers and yes. it makes it cheaper, mobile usage cheaper for consumers because that's where the big demand is right now for OTT services. Yes. Yeah, currently, we are in discussions with um, two of the large telcos. Um, the OTT, and they're not, the, the people we've been speaking to are, are not averse to OTT players. Mm -hmm. So um, the consumer will win in the end. Um, the world is changing. Um, voice over IP is coming in every shape and form, and uh, all the large players are aware of this. Are you up to challenging the likes of WhatsApp, given the big appeal here in South Africa, given that Cell C is capitalizing on that high demand, luring, using it as bait to lure consumers to them as well? We're, we're, not, um, we're not directly in, in competition with WhatsApp. We, we are offering different services. Our latest service is a security solution, which is purpose-built for South Africa. You can have a security channel, you can post events, your you can see all the events that have happened in your neighborhood, and your neighborhood watch can take control of what's going on in their area, and all the users uh, are on a crowdsource base can put the information in and then the neighborhood can take whatever actions they see fit based on that information. Sounds like a great offering, you know, it just makes consumers more spoiled for choice. Given that the market is saturated, it's more competitive and it brings these products to the surface as well. Yes. And also, even now, if I send you an SMS, you'll SMS me back. If I send you a WhatsApp, you'll WhatsApp me back. The, the actual chat portion of, of apps is becoming slightly less relevant. Um, um, it, it's almost a necessity. All apps need to be able to communicate. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they're dead websites on your phone. Fantastic. Well, tell us about the number of subscribers you've managed to attract. What has been the uptake like in the market? So we currently have in the market in South Africa about 12,500 users. Um, the first 10,000 uh, we looked at as beta users. We took their information and we adjusted our app accordingly. Uh, we've got a major relaunch um, in April the 1st, where we're coming up with Trumpet version 2 with a new look and feel. Um, our security solution we're taking out right now to the market, so we're literally starting this week. Um, we'll cover over those about 500 security and residence associations, ranging from formal to the informal areas. You can use a security solution to re to ha for a township in their block, they can use it. For a fancy area in Johannesburg, you can use it. Um, so we hope to cover uh, the majority of the market by the end of the year. The amount of downloads, we would love to reach um, the, the millions, but realistically, we're looking at hundreds of thousands. Sounds fantastic. Yeah. All the best. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Hi, I'm in Pop Pops Medikwani, and you're watching Joburg Today. That's all for today. For more on the city, do check out our playlist. From myself, Dumi Lapo, I now leave you with Chico Muya with I Fancy You. Bye. Back in ETV. Oh, smile. Oh, 
of yours That sweet little smile of yours In all my world I fancy you 